Yui, worker, friends who won DH 20 million almost forgot they joined Big Ticket. In splitting the prize money among 11 people, there would be some maths involved because some pitched in DH 50, others DH 100, and a few gave DH 200. October 2024, a day before the big ticket draw, 50-year-old Abul Monsar Abdul Sabur and his friends were sitting at a cafeteria and, out of nowhere, they wondered, what if we win? We didn't talk about such things before, said Monsa, a Bangladeshi construction worker who has been joining the draw for the last 16 years. Like usual, the expat along with 11 of his family and friends a bought five tickets in mid-September and forgot about it. One of my friends remembered and asked what I would do if we won this time, Monsa told Kalege Times. Imagining the possibility of becoming a millionaire, he said all he wanted was to secure his family's future and fund his children's education. Monsa didn't know it would go beyond wishful thinking, their big dream came true on Thursday a when big tickets Richard and Bauer rang his phone. He, his family and friends won DH 20 million. The expat initially thought it was a prank and brushed it off, telling the caller not to joke around. But then they told me my winning number and the voice on the other end sounded serious, he said. He immediately shared the news with his group, and soon they were checking their emails and the big ticket website. We couldn't believe it, and I was speechless he said. Monsa has been buying raffle tickets for 16 years now. He joined Big Ticket a year after arriving in the UE in 2007. I don't know how much money I have spent on tickets over these years. But finally, the wait was over, he said splitting the prize in splitting the prize money among the 11 ticket buyers, there would be some maths involved. Some pitched in DH50, others DH100 and a few gave DH200. Monsa contributed DH100. The prize will then be divided based on one's share. Monsa has clear plans for his winnings. Part of it will go into making a lifelong dream come true, to start a business. I have wanted to start a business for a long time, but I never had the funds. Now, with this win, I can finally plan for it, he said adding he hasn't decided yet whether to do it in the UE or back in Bangladesh, asked whether he would quit his job. The expat said he doesn't have immediate plans yet. Besides the business venture, Monsa will focus on making sure his children finish school a goal he's held close to his heart throughout his years of hard work. If you like this video click on like button and if you have any comments provide in comments box. If you still not subscribed channel, please subscribe. Also click on bell icon so that you will my video notification immediately.